Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm going to show you where the United States puzzle is and how you can make your own. So let's get cracking. All right, friends. So if you've never been in Tinkercad, simply visit Tinkercad.com, choose sign in with Google. Once you're in, click create new design. Friends, once you're in here, we're going to a special place called Shape Generators. In the Shape Generators, there are featured ones, which are cool, but there's also in all shapes. When you go to all shapes, the very first one is the states. Now to fit these, you need a bigger world. So we're gonna click the snap grid and I don't know the exact number, but I'm gonna show you how to change it. We're gonna do 400 by 300. Backspace, press enter, and it'll update that grid so that you've got more room to play. I recommend you pick the state that you know best. I live in Michigan, so I'm gonna click on Michigan. And then I'm gonna move it up a little bit because Michigan is in the middle and the top. And then we're going to use Control D, which is the shortcut for duplicate. You can move it off to the side, and I'm going to pick a state that connects to it. If you're going to solve a puzzle, it's nice to have ones that are connected. This way you don't have to dig through the pieces, you just can find them. So I know Indiana goes below it. I'm going to pick a different color. And then one of the tricks I like to use is W for work plane. So I'm going to put the work plane on this little edge. If I press F for fit view, I'm going to hold down Shift and push in my right mouse so I can drag. You can see this is where it connects. So if I hit D for drop, it's all of a sudden at the exact right height. I can just use the arrow keys to nudge it across and get it in place. I'm gonna do F for fit view again, switch my nudge to point one. I'm gonna roll in a little bit and then you can see I can just tap it over and boom, I have Indiana in place. From here, I'm gonna put the work plane back on the ground. That's the letter W. And then I can do control D. It moves it a little bit because it saves those measurements. And now I'm going to switch to Ohio, which happens to be close. Find the O's. There we go. Switch the color just because it makes it so much more fun. Once again, I want to put it on this little place. So there's the W for work plane. I can do D for drop. A real cool way to line it up with this side is once again, W for work plane and D to drop. <laughs> Somehow I missed on this one. Let's see if I can fix that. I'm going to do W for work plane again. Oh, it won't drop because this little piece is here. So this is something we just learned by lining up this side. Now I'm going to put my work plane back down the ground, and I'm going to really nudge this into place just like that. Let's zoom in and make sure we've got that real good. Maybe look at it from the top. Use your view cube to get exactly where you want. And I think that is pretty fantastic. Friends, that's how easy it is to make your U.S. States map. I'm going to call this U.S. States and put my initials after it. Friends, another cool thing I added in my puzzle was I put the work plane on top. I went back to basic shapes, and I found this cool star. And then you could put this star on the capitals of all the states, or you could even put it on places you have visited in your life. I held down shift and I shrunk it. I'm going to tell you a good size is two and press enter. And then you can use the arrow keys to nudge that into place. I'm going to switch my nudge back to one millimeter and I'm going to put my hometown up here, Holland, Michigan. I'm going to also do control D. Notice it moves over and I'm going to put it where I grew up, which was Kindy, Michigan. Friends, if you make something cool that you'd like to share with me, don't forget all you got to do is hit collaborate generate a link copy the link and then you can reach out and share it with me i am hl mod tech on facebook instagram and gmail you can also find me on twitter i am hl tinkercad if those don't work friends don't forget you can also visit hlmodtech.com i've got a page dedicated to tinkercad and at the bottom there's the sweet messaging tool you can click on the messaging tool fill out your information and ship it to me almost instantly Finally, friends, I hope you have a ton of fun with this project. You may even try and use those share codes to share them with a partner and you two work together as you build the puzzle all at the same time. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, maybe even hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me. HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.